You know, sometimes prepositions and prepositional phrases are just hard to translate. And sometimes they can be such a succinct statement of what the author means that it's not really clear what the author means. Uh, 1 Peter 4, 6 gives us a good illustration. So word for word, it's for into this, a common idiom for, for this reason, even to the dead, the gospel was preached in order that, and now you get your parallelism, you've got a men and a de, you've got krino and zao, and then you have kata anthropus and kata theon and sarki and punumati. In other words, this hina phrase is really set up in parallel structure. It's really nice. So it's an order that, on the one hand, they might be judged according to men, we'll just say men for now, in flesh, but on the other hand, they might live according to God in spirit. Now you can see in the phrasing uh, how everything lines up so beautifully. But the point that I wanted to make is that the kata prepositional phrases are so uh, succinct, it's really hard to know what they actually mean. As you look at the different translations, you realize that everyone's struggling with this to kind of translate something that makes sense. So if you look at the NIV, it's they might be judged according to human standards in regard to the body, but they might live according to God they don't keep the parallelism exact, according to God, with regard to the spirit. Okay, that's what they're working at doing. NASB, that they will be judged in the flesh as men, in order they may live in the spirit according to, and then they add in, the will of God. See the problem here, can't you? In the ESV, they'll be judged in the flesh the way people are, <laughs> and they may live in the spirit the way God does. Not sure what that means, but NRSV, judged in the flesh as everyone is judged, live in the spirit as God does. See, these are all saying different things, aren't they? CSB, judged in the flesh according to human standards, live in the spirit according to God's standards. Kind of a strong dualism there. The Net Bible, judged in the flesh by human standards, live spiritually by God's standards. And the NLT, they were all destined to die like all people. They live forever with God in the spirit. In other words, this really breaks up any kind of parallelism. Now, the point of this blog was not to pick one of these as right and, and the others as wrong. It's to illustrate that sometimes uh, you just simply have to interpret. Sometimes the Greek is so succinct, it's so sparse that you really, you can't just translate the words, it doesn't work. So what do you think the verse means? <laughs>